second problem of finding asymptotes and a slightly more difficult one. Our last problem, which you can look up if you have not already seen, was y equals x minus 2 divided by x plus 3. We found the asymptotes for that and we are going to just move on to a second problem. Let me just shrink that down and the curve that we're considering here is y equals 2 over x minus 3 minus 1. Now asymptotes, once again, we will consider vertical first and vertical asymptotes for this particular curve. Remember when the denominator in any rational part of the function is 0. So we're looking for denominator equal to 0 and the denominator that I see in this function is x minus 3 and I'm going to look for when that's 0. In other words, I will see an asymptote at x equals 3. And for this one, a horizontal asymptote. Remember, horizontal asymptotes are when we get very large values. And so we're looking at x heading towards infinity or x heading towards minus infinity. Simply very big numbers. So y equals now 2 over x minus 3 minus 1. Now as x tends to a very large value, then 2 over x minus 3, minus 3 doesn't do an awful lot, but 2 over a very, very large value starts to head towards 0, which means that for very large values, 2 divided x minus 3 becomes very, very small, and increasingly, y will start to look like minus 1. So we have our horizontal asymptote and our vertical asymptote here. And if I put that onto a picture, let me my curve was y equals And I've forgotten already what I'm trying to draw. Let me just have a quick look once again. 2 divided x minus 3. And then it was minus 1. And we have it. There it is. Let me just put the asymptotes on here as well. We said one of the asymptotes was at x equals minus 3. So at x equals 3. So x equals 3 gave us the 0 denominator. And the other asymptote we said was when 2 over x minus 3 becomes negligible and y equals negative 1. And we see those two asymptotes on the, on the diagram here. That is our asymptotes.